Yo, what's up, guys? It's the Sneaky Beagle, and welcome back to Sot Talks. In today's Sot Talk, we're going to be discussing three things that I know today that I wish I knew when I first loaded up Sea of Thieves. If you find this series helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy the content here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the little bell in the bottom. Also, let me know in the comments what you want to see in future Sot Talks. I'm happy to cover them. I really enjoy making these videos and I want to make sure they're valuable for you. So before we jump on the boat with my friend Shmi, the three things that we're going to cover in today's video are how to move effectively in player versus player combat, how to board a boat silently from the water, and how to perform what is called a ladder juke to make sure that you get on the top deck and not at the bad end of a blunderbuss. You understand? All right, so the number one thing I see new players do when they load into Sea of Thieves and they start fighting another player, they find the other player, he's coming over, and I jump around. So I start jumping over to him, and I'm gonna wanna jump around, jump around. The problem is, with this, it's very predictable, right? If I watch Shmi's movement, I can see exactly where he's going, right? And I can line up my shots, right? You don't want a hard ADS like that, okay? That's not what you want to do. You'll get snacked up, you understand? What you actually want to do is instead of bunny hopping, you want to move your controller or your control stick or your mouse left and right, and then you move side to side in game, okay? So it looks like this. It's gonna be AD, AD while you're sprinting forward. If you're on controller, you're gonna sprint and wiggle your stick left and right, okay? But if you're on mouse and keyboard, you're hitting A and D, A and D, while you're holding shift and w right so you get into a sprint that's your first step your second step immediately after is ad ad and what you want to do is you want to sync your left hand and your right hand when your mouse goes left your player moves left in game when your mouse goes right you need to move your player right in game so left mouse a right mouse d it's going to look like this in game okay and this is going to be very slow and i'll show you what it can look like when you actually move quickly if i just move my player this is what it'll look like if i just move my mouse nothing happens but you can see when you when you do both it's very dramatic movements because you're not only turning your player you're moving your player to the side so it goes faster both directions it's called enos so it looks like this done quickly the nice thing is when you shoot and reload instead of standing still a lot of players stand still to reload and line up their second shot what you can actually do is fire your gun and you can stand in place and enos and make your movements erratic while you're reloading your weapon and lining up your second shot shmi run down the beach to me uh, jump around a couple times and then do the Enos so we can actually see the difference. So there he is jumping and it's real easy to track versus I gotta try and catch up with him as he's doing erratic movements. You see the huge difference that makes? It's much harder to kill Enos Shmi than killing noob jump around bunny hop Shmi. Figuring out the timing of a jump is a lot easier than trying to catch somebody doing erratic movements. Let's get onto the boat and check out tip number two. Okay, so thing to keep in mind, what a lot of new players do when they are actually trying to board a boat is they'll swim to the boat as it's coming towards them, okay? This makes a lot of noise while you're swimming around because you can hear my player splashing. They hear the same thing on the boat. So people will swim up to the boat. Listen, do you hear that giant splash as I grab the ladder? That signifies to Shmi that I'm here. He's gonna be ladder garden, so I have to pull out my jukes versus oh boy and i'm dead versus if i get a nice here we'll, we'll show you again okay if you actually just get yourself set right you're about to board i know that he is going to pass me here if i try not to move and i know i move as little as possible i hold my ads and then grab the ladder no splash he has no idea i'm here boom right up blundered dead the guy's gone and then i'm here free to be able to take his supplies do whatever i want light his map table on fire start sinking the boat listen as shmi does a regular board here i can hear him splashing around 
and then I hear that distinct sound, he's there. So I know he's coming. I'm prepared for the board. Versus listen to the sound that happens now. See, I have no idea he's there. It is much less noticeable when someone silent boards, okay? So you can give yourself a huge advantage. All right, so one thing, just a general boarding tip. So if you switch weapons when you're headed up to a ladder, you actually have to let the animation finish before you can ADS. There's a slight delay. If you let the animation finish before you board a boat, the animation is finished. I'm gonna board the boat and then I'm gonna be able to ADS as soon as I get up. So if you have your weapon out that you wanna use to board with and you switch to the next one, make sure you don't shift or anything. Make sure you let that animation finish fully so that when you get up on the top deck, you can literally ADS and fire right away. So a lot of times when people who are new to the game board another boat, they grab the ladder as it's running by, they come up, boom, all of a sudden dead, right? One blundered straight to the face, happens to everybody. Now, if you notice that someone's guarding the ladder, what you can do when you come up and you see their head guarding, you can actually let go of the ladder and catch, okay? Let go and catch, let go and catch, let go and catch, all right? And then once they take their shot and they're reloading, jump past them when you get up. The first thing you wanna do when you get to the top of a ladder is jump past them. Now I'm up on top of the boat and we can use that wonderful movement we learned and we can skate him. So if you notice someone guarding you, this is a more advanced ladder juke technique. What you can do is actually juke left and right by holding your control stick or A or D while you're letting go and then re-grab. So if I wanna juke left, I hold A while I let go and it actually moves me to the side. And the same thing for the other direction, right? And it, once he fires his shot, again, it's the same thing. As Soon as he fires his shot and misses, I can head up the ladder, boom. Because if someone is just straight up looking down at you like this, if you're moving left to right, it's a much harder target to hit. Hey guys, thanks for attending today's SOT Talk. I really appreciate you being here. If you found the video helpful in any way, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Like, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel. I appreciate you. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to also stop by my live stream. I stream on Twitch most weeknights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And, as always, guys, stay sneaky, my friends.